Okay, so let's take a look at how to do question number three here. So the question is asking you to find the area according to the following Z scores. So area, what that should trigger in your memory is that we are looking for the area or probability under the standard normal curve for a distribution of data. Now, because we're using Z scores, we've already standardized our information, which means the mean is always equal to zero. Okay, and we are given our boundary limits, which is 0 0.6 and negative point, uh, 0 0.6. So what we're essentially looking to find here is what is the area underneath the curve, okay, which is also the, known as the probability between those two boundary points. So <clears throat> the, the easiest way for us to do this is to use our normal CDF function that you have in your um, graphing calculator, where we put in our lower boundary so our lower boundary here is going to be negative 0.6. Our upper boundary is going to be positive 0.6. And now what you can also do here is you can just leave it empty and just close the bracket and then run the calculation on this. Because if we don't add the next two values in, it assumes that the, the mean is going to be zero and the standard deviation is one. So I just like to put that in for, for completeness, um, but it's not necessary to put in a, the zero and one. That's that if you don't provide a value into this function for those last two um, entries, it will assume that is what the value you are using as a, as a Z score. So if we run that through, you'll get a decimal, which is equal to 0 0.4515 to four spots, which is essentially 45% of the area of the curve. All right, and then to do the, uh, the only one here that's a little different is we have uh, question C because we're not given a lower limit. So what this question is really is, we draw the curve like this, we have Z, oops, we can just mark that in as a zero. Um, we're looking at all values greater than um, negative 0.47. So that means everything, everything to the right of that lower boundary. Okay, so to do this, we have to supply our um, upper boundary because we need to know like where this value is. So if we were gonna do this, we can do normal CDF. Our lower boundary is negative, oops, negative 0.47. So make sure you have the negative sign in there. Now our upper boundary is not given, but we do know that we have to put in an upper boundary value. So it's gonna be one times 10 to the 99. Okay, essentially we're representing infinity there. And again, you can also put in the two values. The mean is gonna be zero and the standard deviation is one. And if you run that through your calculator, um, you will get the area of the curve on that. So let me just take a run here so this is going to be normal cdf we're going to put in a negative 0.47 and then our second value is um, 1 times 10 to the 99 and then a 0 and a 1 and close and our answer is 68.6808 so 0 0.6808 or 68 percent of the curve is covered by a value that is 0.47 um, over uh, to the um, over to the right. Okay, so fairly straightforward question to do. You just have to use the normal CDF function and realize that you're not you're the uh, mean and the standard deviation already implied to be zero and one because the scores are standardized.